Welcome everyone to the Tactical Tavern. My name is Tomas Salas and in this video we are reviewing the Hobo Tactical Penetrator. This everyday carry tool is designed as an add-on to the classic Zebra F701 and is an attachment tip to increase the potency of a regular riding implement. It's a sinister pen hidden in plain sight and we're going to put it up against the Tactical Tavern test with 25 possible points based on price, functionality and design, dependability, versatility, and carryability. Let's get right into this. Before we begin, if you love gadgets, gear, and all things everyday carry, take a moment, drop a like, and subscribe for more content like this. The Penetrator Tip retails for $37, or you can get the Pen and Tip Combo for $48. These are manufactured in the USA by Turner CNC, and currently the only place where you can get these is at hobotactical.com. Because this product is innovative, made in the USA, and extremely good quality, it scores itself a 5 out of 5 on pricing. Now let's see what that money gets you with functionality and design. The Penetrator comes with two different finishes. You can go with stainless steel or a patina look. These tips are precision milled to give you a very sharp point, hence the name Penetrator. The threading is very easy to install and it fits flush with the Zebra F701. However, I've also found it to fit a Zebra F402 ballpoint pen. On a completely different side note, who gave the okay for this Zebra F701? I mean, the original pen looks really crusty. It's also further testament to how awesome the Penetrator is because it seriously enhances the beauty of this pen. I really like the options for finishes and the patina look certainly has a lot of character. However, my personal favorite is gonna be that stainless steel model. It blends in perfectly with the pen and it also looks extremely classy. The body of this pen has roughly one inches of knurling, which certainly increases the grip and has a very tactile finish. The rest of the body is smooth steel and that flows all the way into the stainless steel pocket clip. And as we make our way to the very end of the pen to actuate it, you're going to be met with a very audible click. While taking the pen apart, you will note that it comes with a B20 insert and the refills are very easy to find online. Writing with this pen is quite smooth and you surprisingly have great line variation. From very thin light strokes to very thick hard lines, it makes for a very beautiful signature. All right, now to the intended purpose of this pen. While testing it on organic medium, it effortlessly penetrated all the way through, only stopping at my hand. And with an extra slap, you can easily send this in even further. I seriously love how unassuming this pen looks, but packed with sinister capability, giving it a score of five out of five on functionality and design. Next up is dependability. I'm happy to report that adding the penetrator tip to the F701 from Zebra did not change the actuation at all. In fact, I even think it shields it better than the original tip because you have increased length to ensure that you have that sharp edge. Again, refills for this pen are easily found online and also in most office supply stores. And while that tip is removed, you will notice how thick and durable the entire stainless steel body is of the Zebra pen. I really like the traction on both the F701 and the 402 because it provides great grip and I think you would have a little bit better chances of getting the F701 in and out of organic medium. That grip on the 402 may provide just a little bit too much friction in order to slide in and out easy. The only knock I can find on dependability is that pocket clip. It's not removable, so if you bend it out of place, you're kind of out of luck. There's no way to really bend it back in safely. I personally not experienced the pocket clip bending out of place. However, I could see it being an issue if it got caught on a seatbelt or something of that nature. This being said, even after repeated striking on a variety of different organic mediums, there was virtually no deformation in the tip and the tip itself is extremely reliable. For dependability, I give this a four out of five. All right, next up is versatility. The Hobo Tactical Penetrator enhances an already robust pen by increasing the versatility by giving you a personal protection tool you can carry in non-permissive environments. With the classic Zebra F701, you get an impact tip, which can certainly do some damage. This penetrator tip is crazy sharp. It can effortlessly penetrate into raw organic medium. However, it will certainly not be stopped or hindered by any type of fabric getting in the way. Aside from its sinister tactical capabilities, you can use this to scratch off lottery tickets, shotgun a beer, and even open pack when you have nothing else available. It does not take much effort to make this pen useful in a self-defense situation, making it great for a variety of people who may find themselves being more likely targeted. The last thing I'll say in this section is that it is very well balanced and the click is very fun to play with, giving it quite a fun fidget factor. For versatility, it scores a five out of five. All right, next up is carryability. The pen has a great feel and sleek design, which makes it great for taking notes in class, drawing, and even signing professional documents. It does not take up much room at all, especially with that compact size, it makes it easy to get in and out of the pocket. However, it's almost a little bit too easy, in my opinion. I personally wish that the Zebra pen had a little bit more retention on the clip because I have found while carrying it that a couple of times it actually slipped down deep into the pocket. If you're gonna pocket carry this, I would highly suggest being very careful. 
because you could accidentally stab yourself in the leg with how insanely sharp that tip is. An easy way to get around this is carrying it with a small notepad and it also sells the narrative that it is sincerely a writing implement. It also fits right at home in chest pockets, making it quickly accessible if you need to really put some pen to paper. The last idea I have to safely carry around this pen is to throw it into a hobo tactical sack. For carryability, I give this a score of four out of five. It is very sharp, so keep that in mind, but you can virtually carry this anywhere because it's just a pen. Overall, the Hobo Tactical Penetrator scores a 23 out of 25 and is a 94% pass on the Tactical Tavern test. You can carry this invisible self-defense tool virtually anywhere, and it certainly enhances the versatility of a tool you may already carry with you daily. I highly recommend you take a look at these pens and make sure to check them out at hobotactical.com. If you like this review and you found value from it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe because it helps support the channel. While you're there, turn on post notifications so you are the first to know of new videos dropping every Tuesday and Thursday. With that being said, make sure to also follow us on Instagram so you get a behind the scenes look at all the new gear that we're testing out. With that being said, my name is Tomas Salas. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, be prepared, be practical, stay tactical.